All right. Welcome back to Catherine, part seven. I've been dreading this because we got to do the boss. And then there's still like two more floors after this. Uh, I should get going soon. Hello. Did I not talk to them all? I should get going soon. I thought I did. Hello. No, the cops hey. over there. Maybe I didn't. Do you feel it? It will be coming soon. For me, it's myself. It's me in doll form, with holes for my eyes, ears, nose, mouth, and it doesn't even chase me. It's a version of me who doesn't do anything, who can't do anything. I would rather fall into oblivion than have to see that. Oh, come on. Anyway, let's try and come up with some techniques. Why don't we exchange some information? Sure. Here's something that I came up with. Allow me to explain Inazuma. Hey, that's that place in Genshin. When you're climbing a flat wall with three stones in a row, use the pulling out blocks and hanging techniques. If you repeat the same pattern, you can climb in a zigzag without collapsing the wall. Perhaps you already figured that one out, though. Well, hey, maybe this is related to your technique. This is a variation of Inazuma. You can climb flat walls with four stones in a row in the same way. This is actually insanely good. I need to remember this. I I need to use this because it is good. The technique lies in moving the stone to the side of the wall you'd like to travel up and creating a stepping stone. I see. You're quite something. Yes, what an elegant move. Are you going to devise some more techniques? Sorry guys, but I gotta go. <laughs> Wish you luck. Hello. This guy's come up with several techniques. It proves what kind of man he is. They're not new, but they're all logical and useful. That's the mind of a leader. I guess my business experience is paying off. It really does feel good to help out others. Good job, Daniel. Hello. That's his name, right? Hey, can you talk with us? You're the best climber out of anyone here. That's nice of you. So, I think the big one is coming up. Maybe I'm at the end of my rope. The big one? For me, it's my wife, Sophie. I as good as killed her anyway. She has every right to be angry with me. If she's the one who kills me, then I don't mind. Are you just giving up? Oh, right. I knew I recognized you. You're the one from the bar. I gotta pull myself together if I told you that much. All right. I'll go have a chat with Sophie. Hey, they finally actually made a connection. Sophie. I... Damn it. Hey, it's you again. Damn it. Why did he go away all of a sudden? Where did he go? Hey, shut up. I can hear you. Sorry. Yeah, I understand. Getting chased around by weird monsters every night. Well, go. There's another big one waiting to greet you tonight. <sighs> well, go. There's... All right. It's up above. I can feel it. Mother, I can tell. I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired of this life of running. Hey, hey. Mother's hands. Always so cold. So cold. She never let me wear clothes. Instead of dragging myself through hell. Maybe it's better just to die here. Oh, of course it isn't. What? Fuck, you don't know anything. I'm a bad man. I hurt women, my boss, everyone. I, I just... I just want a normal life. See? You want to live. I'll climb. I'll climb. Like there's no tomorrow. If we both survive, we'll meet again. Why is Mother coming back now? Wait, there's more? I'm gonna throw my back out. I'm glad you made it up all right. It's like my hands are just moving on their own now. I don't know how I got so good at climbing this stuff. Why are they not talking? It's so clearly Orlando. If you want an item, pony up some coins. Tonight's product is... 
The black cube creates a dark block in front of you. The mystic... Nah, I don't need it. Huh? Uh, uh... <clears throat> Alrighty. <sighs> well, let's go do this. It's beginning. What? what? <laughs> well, sit down. <sighs> You're quite persistent. Your climbing skills are remarkable. I don't care what little speech you have. Hurry up. This is the tenth question. If you begin to doubt your lover, would you reaffirm your trust in them or speak to them directly? <laughs> well, which one? I. Hold on. Hold on. This one? Damn it, I don't know. Well, I do Which one? both. I can't just doubt someone and pretend I didn't doubt them. I'd have to confront them and clear up my doubts. That one, huh? Very well. I've noted it. Hurry up before I start getting nervous for no reason. <laughs> nervous, huh? I expect that you will be attacked by something. Wait, you do both. What kind of choice is that? I don't. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I should have gone with my gut. I really should have. But I'm like, no, the game's gonna bring the meter down, obviously, because clearly one is good option and the other is bad option. Even though the other is logical option. <laughs> this game, bro. Giving me an aneurysm. Oh. This is the final, the second last stage. Okay. Shit. Or is there more above? Observe the traps created by the enemy and stay calm. God damn it. All right. Let's just climb this thing and get it over with. There is no way. I'm not your dad. Definitely not your dad. Child with chainsaw has appeared. It's the killer. Do not die. Really? I wouldn't have guessed that. Why does this feel weirdly simple? I'm scared. I'm very scared. Oh, that's actually a good block to have. Oh, sure, whatever. Is there a catch to this? Like, what? I'm so... I'm scared. I'm I'm genuinely scared, because it's not difficult. I don't... What's the catch? I mean, it's behind me, I guess. Oh, I think I see the catch. It can literally just get rid of entire sides. I am unbelievably lucky to be alive right now, I think. I don't... I can't really do anything if there's no way to go up. Jesus.
Ooh. That was close. Things got stressful there. I nearly screwed that up. Jesus. What? I was pulling the block. What was I meant to do there? <laughs> there was so much before a checkpoint. Why is this one so long? Oh my god. I nearly got it perfect. Why is it so long? I see the difficulty finally. Jesus. Those monsters. How did I end up here? What it? I don't. Whatever. Whatever. Don't question it. Bro. Wait. Go. All right. This is all good. screwing things up. Okay, Jesus. This time pay attention. Oh my god. Okay. I just opened this. On a victory. Oh shit. Oh shit. I honestly expected to be on this much longer, which makes me fear the next stages. I'm... Congratulations. The clock tower has...
has been completed. I'm terrified. Doing here anyway. I, I mean, they, the, the ants. What, what are they doing here? Stupid ants. They're after this. What is it? Cake? Well, who did you get this from? How did ants get here so damn quick? That's the cake Catherine brought me a while ago. Oh, I've got a, a real sweet tooth. Is all. <laughs> uh, wait, really? So do I. <laughs> So, uh, when did you get here? <laughs> what, like you forgot? You said that you were feeling better, so I hurried right over. Huh? When did I tell you that? I guess my memory's a little fuzzy. Aw, you always say that. <laughs> Relax, you worry too much. Trust me, you are just fine, baby. <laughs> well, gee, thanks. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. <clears throat> I, uh, <laughs> don't have time today. <laughs> no! What, what is it this time? It's, it's that horror movie I told you about. This is the last week they're gonna be showing it in theaters, <laughs> remember? What, what movie? I don't know what I'm gonna do if I miss it. Yeah, okay, okay. Can we wait till tomorrow? I've kind of got some stuff to take care of today. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right! <laughs> This will be our first real date! It'll be so much fun, don't you think? <laughs> I am totally lost here. Ugh. Ugh. Yes! Ugh. I gotta ask you something. You know what I'm talking about, right? Huh? Don't you have anything to tell me? Vincent, what in the world are you talking about? All right, I'm just gonna come out and say it. No. W wait, Listen what's going me. on? I, uh... I heard something the other day. What did you hear? Something from an acquaintance of yours. What? Who? Uh, well, do you know a guy named Steve? Steve? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know anyone named Steve. Exact. Wait, what? Y you don't? No. No? Not even one? Like I said, I don't know any Steves. Well, <laughs> how could you not? I mean, Steve's a pretty common name, right? Wait! I did meet a Steve yesterday. <laughs> yesterday? My friend's son was named Steve. I think. Son? How old is he? Um... Two months, maybe? She'd just come back from the hospital. No, no, not him. Don't you know any other Steves? Huh? Well, I'm sure I do if I check. You, you mean you have to check and see if you know anybody named Steve? I guess so. Look, what is this all about? <laughs> well... Speak up and tell me. Who's Steve? Some friend of yours? What are you getting at? 
Well, if you don't know, then let's just drop it. Are you sure you don't know him, Louis Steve? Why do you keep asking me that? I told you, I don't know. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Never mind. Huh? Oh, uh... <laughs> Wrong girl again? I mean, I can't think of anyone else. I'm glad to hear Catherine's not cheating, but this is not good. Maybe I should just tell her. No, then she'll think I'm taking some random guy's word over hers. Shit. What can I say to make her believe me? Uh, well, it, it, it's a good thing you don't know him. There's this asshole at my work who said he might know you so uh huh are you okay you've been acting weird lately you're pale you say things that don't make any sense yeah well you know what there's a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense lately like the future and everything i don't get it uh, what do you mean you don't get it uh. Well, what part of our future don't you get? That's not what I meant. I, I mean, I'm, I'm worried about work. It's a new job and all, and I'm having problems with the client, so I'm tired. <laughs> <sighs> I've been getting strange texts lately. Strange how? I don't know. They don't make sense. It's just creepy. <laughs> Wait, what do they say? What are the words? You know what? It's not important. Just forget it. Okay, but... Look, Vincent. You're not hiding anything from me. Are you? Huh? <laughs> Sure, somehow. Come on, I'm not keeping anything from you. Well, you've got to go back to work, right? I do too. Um, I should go. Huh? Oh, okay. I'll call you. Why is the sound so out of sync? <laughs> I don't I don't know if I can help that. Which girl? What are you talking about? Yeah, well, I asked around and nobody knows who you are. You you told her? <laughs> well, yeah, of course I did. I mean, that's the quickest way to split up, right? Y yeah. B but what do you mean nobody knows me? Well, that's exactly why I called. Look. Wh why don't you just tell me something about the girl you called me about? Like what does she look like? Huh. Sorry, but you got the wrong guy. What? I, I know a girl named Catherine, but it's somebody different. What? Don't you try to fool me. Look, the Catherine I know, she's white. Uh, it, it can't be. I, I mean, she told me about you herself. It's a different person. I don't blame you for all this, but please, just leave me alone. How should I know? But she... She's all I have now. <laughs> I'm already divorcing my wife. She came into my life suddenly. And then I just... Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. I, I'm going crazy. <laughs> it's gonna come for me and I... Look, I'm the one going crazy here. <laughs> I won't call you again. So leave me alone, okay? Wait, wait, wait no. Don't hang up. What the hell was his problem? Wait. Is that the man with the tie? 
I kept thinking it's the guy who the cryptic voice, but is that the man with the tie? Is that the sheep with the tie? Who helped us from the start? The wrong girl? Yeah. The Catherine he was talking about was someone else entirely. Jeez. Seriously? Well, lucky for you, this was just some dumbass's mistake. The world's full of troublemakers. There's no way. He has to be mistaken. Uh, you guys better be careful, too. Haven't you heard the rumor? Ah, uh, that again? They say all the men who died were cheaters. So they were cursed. Uh, just get your ass back to work. Vincent isn't cheating anymore. So there's nothing to worry about. The curse, huh? Oh, well, that's great. I've got no choice but to accept it. Well, look, when you feel guilty, sometimes you want to be punished, you know what I mean? But this curse stuff is just crazy, it's not rational. Grow up, man. And besides, there are plenty of other ways to die in your sleep. Plus... Plus? Well, you know, I've sort of been having funny dreams, too. Dreams? Well, to be honest, I've been having odd dreams recently myself. And like you were saying, I don't remember exactly what they're about, but... Yeah, but it's some hard shit. Well, hey, uh, are you serious? <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's all just dreams. Yeah, but are you sure it's fine? Of course it's fine. Wait a sec. Come to think of it, he, he said something. I, I'm going crazy. It's going to come for me and I... What's going to come for him? Am I missing something important here? Anyway, this is about you, Vincent. What are you going to do? Huh? Oh, my nightmares were all caused by this trouble. But they forced me to realize something. Which is? I took everything for granted. Up until now. I feel like now... I remember what I've always held dearest to me. Sounds selfish to me. <laughs> really? I know, but I can't betray the person who's been with me all this time, despite who I am. I can't lose her now. Yeah, that's the spirit, Chief. Then maybe you shouldn't be here drinking right now. Well, yeah. Mm. I've got something left to do. I need to change my focus. I see. Hey, beer me. Sure, let me get that for you. Yeah, that's right. Let's get to drinking while we're thinking. Your treat. Yeah, right. Wait, good ending? Game's not over yet, is it? But that... I didn't get a choice there. That sounded like just good moral compass. What? Okay. Johnny! Nightmare for sure. You all look like you're in really bad shape. Nothing's wrong with you. I don't have nightmares. I sleep like a baby every night. If you keep smiling like that, I'm gonna deck you. You can tell I'm happy. To be honest, me and Erica are. Uh. Anyway, let's let's have a drink. Oh, liquor's really hitting me today. <laughs> if you check the high scores for that game. Why are you boasting? What? I've got the high score right now. What, really? Oh, well, uh, <laughs> I'll beat you soon. You guys are really into that game, huh? Yeah. Erica, she's an angel. More like a demon. <laughs> Let's hope she's that, too. <laughs> Chill, Toby. You got me. So what you gonna do with the girl you're cheating with? She doesn't know you're sleeping around with her, right? I'm a terrible person, aren't I? This is my fault. I'm not gonna run from it. You go, Vincent! I'm gonna break up with her tomorrow. Once I'm clear, I'm gonna... I propose to her. I'm sure it'll all work out. Yeah, thanks. Might as well check. The mysterious meter. Alright, oh, yeah. I've already got done that. Oh, this. Okay, well, yeah, fair enough. It's a shit one. 
first bronze, though, I've got to say. What was that nightmare about? You got me. Oh, shit. Are people leaving and stuff that I'm missing? Probably. Uh, Catherine. Vincent, have you gotten involved in something bad? If that's the case, tell me the truth. Your problems are my problems now. Don't worry about it. Everything's been settled. I'm sorry you're worried about me. Good night, Catherine. Nah. You're worrying too much. No. No. Nah. I'll just say don't worry about it. You're worrying too much. It was just a misunderstanding. I'm sorry you worried about me. There we go. Okay. okay. I almost did the first one and screwed myself. Would you like to speak to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? You can't accept the dishonesty of politicians, can you? You can't accept the rising cost of goods, can you? Kind of hate both. But politics more. This one? Mr. Justin would say the same thing. Did you know that Mr. Justin once interviewed a ballerina? Did you know she was Miss Anna's best friend? Did you know that it was Mr. Daniel who made Miss Anna stop crying? I see. Mr. Archie died this morning. What? No. It's two days until the time of freedom. Wait, what? Archie's dead? <laughs> I hope you're working hard. I love when you talk about your job. Oh, it's our first real day tomorrow. I'm so excited. I forgot he did that. Uh, well, I can't open that yet, so we'll just wait. Maybe if you watch the news a lot, they'll show up. If you watch the news, you may see your friends. I hope you wake up tomorrow morning all right. But Archie? Not Archie, really? Oh. Why is Anna here without Daniel? I guess they did split up, didn't they? Sorry you had to see me like that yesterday. I mean, is that really what you want? I mean, don't you love him? We're past the age of believing we'll have no problems just because we're in love. You too. But. He's adopted. He's been working hard all his life to repay the parents who raised him. He fought his way through, dealing with pressures all this time. He's a truly pitiable soul. I knew that I wouldn't be able to marry him. And that he was going to become someone else's from the very beginning. And now that day has come. Uh, cheer up. Uh, don't patronize me. You got me. No, I want to talk to... Oh, well... Did the ladies leave? Okay, the ladies left. Ah, uh, I'm not playing that. No, I don't care. <laughs> I'm tired today. I interviewed another woman today for a different story. She's pregnant, but she's marrying a man who isn't the father of her child. And she's not going to tell him that he isn't. It's the truth. Seriously? Yeah, but I hear it happens all the time. She doesn't actually know who the father is. So among all the possible fathers, she went for the one who is the kindest and the dullest. He'll raise the baby, believing it to be his child. I'm sure he'd be happier if he didn't know. I don't think I agree with that. I hear that in any romantic relationship, feelings decline over time. One theory is that love is a drug, like alcohol or cigarettes. Repeated exposure makes you numb to it. That is, it's only hot and heavy in the beginning. It's the truth. Goodbye. Uh, she said that in a very sad tone. Don't die. <laughs> anyway, back to Justin, because I don't want him to leave. Marriage is two people becoming one. 
it's the truth. To bear another person's life is very difficult and very frightening. I'm gonna head home. Excuse me. Okay, Chester. You have a good one, bro. No one here yet? I will check the bathroom. Nah, that one should be fine. Anyway. Is it going to be a day we're not like that? Ooh. I still haven't decided if I'll go. I didn't mean to commit to anything this morning. I told you to stop sending me pictures. I didn't mean to commit to anything this morning. I'll be honest. Okay. <laughs> Don't get the meter, bro. Do we like Catherine with a K or Catherine with a C? What do you want, game? <laughs> do you want him to cheat? Is that what you want? I don't understand. <sighs> I keep up trying to understand it. The meter goes up or it goes down. I'm not going to question it anymore. Well, that's odd. I'm just <laughs> what did you see? <laughs> I'll see you at the spiral corridor tonight. I'm looking forward to it. What the Yeah, I don't think that's Steve. I think Steve is the sheep with the tie. Well they're all still there. I could probably just drink with them. Maybe I'll get lucky and have a bank error in my favor. <laughs> yeah, right. I'll drink with my friends. I'll be right back. Or not. Johnny looks pretty bad. He always hides his problems from us, huh? But Chief's so cool. When one of his guys messes up, he sticks with him till the end. And that's his problem. He needs to take it easy. Look, man, if I was a girl, I'd be all over Chief. Tell him that when he comes back. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Looks tired today. Kind of worried. Oh, man. Shit, I'm just so tired. Why do you get so tired? Just because you had a bad dream. You never wake up with sore muscles from stuff you do in dreams, right? Man, I so want to punch you. Uh, shoot. It's this time already. When I break up with her, I need to keep my mind clear. Hey, Vincent. We're leaving now. No, leaving no, no. Are you going home already? No, I'm not. I just want to organize my thoughts. Okay. No. Well, be no. Cool. No. See you. No. I didn't mean to press that. No. This game. This game. This game. This game. This game. This game. We will continue the story of the mysterious series of deaths. Nicholas Clark, age 29, was the latest victim. What a grisly story. Oh. Archie Wallace, age 28. Archie. Oh. oh my, Archie. These deaths are hitting close to home these days. Kevin Taylor, age 31. That concludes the current known list of victims. If we learn of any new information, I didn't mean to do that, but you know it's fine. Tired today, she, and she's not going to tell him that he isn't. It's the truth. I'm gonna take this opportunity. <laughs> huh? Why? She doesn't. Act all right. Did all that. If I sit down with these two, they're gonna do. I'll be right back. This again. Hey, Vince. All right. Take care. Still hanging around the bar? <laughs> we can't start this party without you. Now, come. 
Did, did I just hear something? Yes, I'm here. Were you waiting for me, Vincent? What? <sighs> Why are you here? Hey, have my you thoughts ever exactly. On anyone, Vincent? Huh? Well, uh... I can't imagine. It's you, after all. I've cheated on someone before. But don't worry, I'm only seeing you. Uh, how do I say this? It's really strange that I feel this way. <laughs> do you get what I'm trying to say? I'm probably not making much sense. Well... Man, you're not talking much today. I'm just sitting here with some guy who's not saying anything. We're done talking today. Sorry, I'll see you tomorrow. I've been tired lately and I want to sleep alone. Uh, oh, then that's too bad. What? You're going home already? It's not like that, but... <laughs> Thanks. Okay. That's only a little annoying. I hope this doesn't break everything. Because now she kind of won't text back. <laughs> Alright. Read that one. Read that one. Read this one. Don't worry about it. Everything's been settled. No. You're worrying too much. It was just a misunderstanding. I'm sorry you worried about me. Good night, Kath. That's what I said, wasn't it? Nah. No. I'll say you're worrying too much. Did that go up? Right. It did go up last time. Okay, so that was the right one. I did the wrong one for this one, though. First of all, we'll get that fan service again. Let's go. Um going to be a date we're not like that should i say that then nah. no. i guess i'll try this wait before i do nah. i'm i'm cheating now because this game has pissed me off and i don't want the meter to be low or neutral i want it to be high so i'm now cheating because i don't care <laughs> Okay, that went down. So now we reload, because that failed. <laughs> I guess this one? I don't know why that brings it up, but okay then. And yep, got that. Okay, fair enough. Right, so that's all good now. I'll actually save. Just in case I screw something else up. <laughs> Alright. So then we interact with this. And we saw all that. Uh, before we talk to her... Rapunzel game anywhere else? No. Yeah, me neither. It's really old, and all our customers play it just out of curiosity. I saw Orlando and Johnny playing it the other day. They started fighting and blaming each other for messing up. Men who get hooked on stuff like that? <laughs> They're all just kids. Men aren't the only ones who get hooked on games. Yeah, but it's different for us. Toby doesn't play it, though. He says he didn't get the appeal. Maybe Toby's just more mature than you guys. Him? He's only trying to act mature. Hey, aren't you going home yet? I've got plans tonight. What, what, after work? <laughs> Are you the type to see nightmares, Mr. Brooks? Yeah. Shit, why can't I remember them? Every night I've had them. Women aren't the only ones to get the marriage blues. Man asks everything from a woman... But when done so, he feels she is a burden. To pilfer the ponderings from a certain someone. It doesn't matter anymore. I figured it out. I want Catherine by my side. 
So I'm just gonna settle things. I hope it leads to a good conclusion. Still, Steve's voice, I've heard it somewhere before. Don't torment yourself too much. You know, I've got just the thing to cure your fatigue. Sorry. See you tomorrow? What? You're going home already? They truly want to kick me out. <laughs> they really want to kick me out. I just want to drink, bro. Look, Vincent. You're not hiding anything from me. Are you? Looks like I was the only one hiding something. Rumors are bullshit. Fuck curses. Man's voice. I've heard it somewhere before. Stupid as I am, I just have to give up and move on. Look, Vincent. Looks like I was the. Oh, okay. It just loops. Alright, time for this drunk bastard to leave right after he saves. Because I'm going to attempt the first level, but I don't think I'm going to beat it. And then I'm going to end the video. What? You're I have something to do. Oh, I see. I'm going to stay and drink some more. Good night. Why was that so passive-aggressive? <laughs> our locale tonight it is a holy passage to the cathedral the road to the cathedral starts here your mental powers will be truly tested here Think hard while you challenge these areas. Now what? I can't wait to see what they're cooking up now. Don't know if that's what I wanted to do or not. I'm screwing this up for myself. I'm an idiot, bro. I, I've already screwed this, I think. I just, I just, I just, I don't have a brain, apparently.
I guess the solid blocks don't fall. So, uh, cool. Hold on. Shit. I just don't know. No, whatever. I assume I need all the cubes in this area. I expected you survived. I knew you wouldn't die here. This is all just getting too much for my brain. Anywho, that was Catherine. But, uh, but. doesn't work that was Catherine part seven um I don't have much to say this hurts my brain please support me on patreon